Man, do we have a fantastic video for decimal expanded form today. Now, on a side note, if you don't know how to do expanded form with whole numbers, I would highly suggest you start there. I put that video and practice in the uh, description. So if you're ready to roll with decimals, we'll get going. Now, expanded form for decimals is very similar to expanded form for whole numbers. You're expanding the number out to show the value of each digit. Now with decimals you can use both fractions and decimals to represent a number less than a whole and we'll get into what that means and I'll even have a video for how to represent basic decimals tenths hundredths and thousandths as fractions if you need a little extra help with that. So let's hop into number one here we have 503 thousandths. And if you don't know how to read um, or put decimals into word form, that's another skill for another video. But you would read this 503 thousandths. So, we do not have any whole numbers, right? So our greatest valued digit is at 5. And that 5 is worth 5 tenths. And I'm going to do fractions and decimals here for our expanded form. I'll start with decimals. We have zero holes, and that 5 is worth 5 tenths. Done. We have a zero, so we don't need to represent that. And then we have a 3 that is in the thousandths, and it's worth 3 thousandths. So there you go our two digits, the 5 and the 3, so we would be done there. Not much to that one, so we're done. Um, Fraction-wise, we have 5 tenths plus 3 thousandths. There you go, done. All right. Let's move on to uh, number two. This one, we do have a whole number. And the four, and that four is worth four. Plus, let's go to our three, which is worth three tenths. I will do decimals first, three tenths. Plus that nine, zero holes, which is nine hundredths. There you go. Done. A four worth four, three worth three tenths, and a nine worth nine hundredths. There you go. Let's do the fractional way. A four is four holes. We don't need a fraction for that. It's four holes. Plus three tenths plus nine hundredths. There you go. Done. Let's go to number three. 56 and 7 tenths. So we got to go to this 5. That 5 is not worth 5. Don't put 5 now. That 5 is worth 50. Plus a 6, which has a value of 6. Plus a 7, which has a value of 7 tenths. Alright, let's go fractional. We don't need a fraction for these whole numbers. They're whole numbers, for goodness sake. Plus 7 tenths. There you go. Done with that one. Number four. We do not have a whole number. We don't have anything in the tenths, so we're going to start with a six. And that six is worth six hundredths. And then we have a one in the thousandths. Boom. Done. Let's do fractional. Six hundredths plus one thousandth. Done. Alright, number five. Do we have any holes? Nope. So we're going to start with a three in the tenths place. So let's represent that with the decimal. Let's do the eight, which is eight hundredths. And then we have the nine there, which is nine thousandths. We have our three, our eight, and our nine all represented, the values. Let's do fractional. Three tenths plus 8 hundredths 
plus nine thousandths. Notice THS, not thousands, nine thousandths, eight hundredths, three tenths. And then our last one, we do have a whole number and a decimal portion, so let's expand this out. Our one is worth 10. Our seven is worth seven. And our nine, what do you think? You got it, nine hundredths. Let's do fractional, 10. Seven's value is seven. And then our nine's value is nine hundredths. And there we go, six for six. And that's how we expand out decimals. You can either use fractions or decimals. Got to know both. All right.